I was gift wrapping some presents the other day and didn't have any tissue paper. So I turned to my patterns and was like, happy birthday. Hi, it's Tilly and today we're talking about how to read a basic pattern. So let's start that two minute timer and get going. First, I highly recommend copying your patterns over from the tissue paper to help with durability. I personally like to use poster board or craft paper. Next, I label my pattern. I always include the version and the date, the pattern number and brand, what the garment is, what the piece of the garment is, and the person and character associated. Next, we'll move on to the markings. The first and most important marking is the grain line. It's typically on the center front or center back on a bodice piece like this one. Mark it for the full length of the pattern piece and with arrowheads about two inches from the edge at the top and the bottom. If the pattern is cut on the fold, it means it will be flipped over to avoid an additional seam at center front. This is indicated with a flat box with arrows for where it should be folded. Next would be notches. You can mark the points where the pattern pieces will match up and any darts. You can easily do this with a notcher. You can also mark any alteration points, such as where the fold to make it shorter would be or the dash line to make it longer to help with any alterations in the future. Last would be seam allowance. Fashion fabrics and most commercial patterns are 5 eighths of an inch unless otherwise specified in the instructions. Theater, however, uses larger seam allowances to allow for alterations for multiple actors. This includes one and a quarter inch at the neckline and armhole, two inches at center back and hem, one inch for a side seam or a shoulder seam, a half an inch for a severe curve or a princess seam, and one inch for a top or bodice hem. And there you have it, how to read a very basic pattern. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or follow me on my socials and ask me there. And I hope you enjoyed this Tuesday. We'll see you next time.